Hey guys, what is up? This is Dom D. Calx, and today I have a new program for you guys. Today's program is uh, to find the area of an oblique triangle. So, real quick, I'll give you a demonstration. I also want to note that for this program to work, you will have to have your calculator in degree mode if uh, the angle you are given is in degrees obviously um, so you'll need that also the code is in the description uh, gonna do this one a little differently this time uh, it's I'm not gonna actually show you the code or anything it's just in the description and I'll give you an example so let's get started so here we got the area of an oblique triangle or whatever I just have it abbreviated let's go ahead and run it alright so says what do you know do you know three sides or two sides in an angle so I have this little note card made up like I normally do and as we can see on this triangle we have two sides B and A and a side C so we have two sides in an angle so let's see if we can there we go alright so we're gonna select that now the formula for finding the area of an oblique triangle that's based off the law of sines is the same for everything. You take one half uh, side A times side B times the angle you know. But as you can see here it has BC, AB, and AC. Um, because it's the same all the time, like the equation or the formula doesn't change, like I you guys could just type it in as the formula but I found that if you have this if you have to choose what two sides and then the angle because you can't have uh, like a side B and then an angle B because that doesn't work to find um, the area you need two sides and then the angle that's opposite of the side that you don't know. So um, sometimes they'll give you a triangle where it'll say angle C is this, side C is this, and angle A is that. So you actually have to calculate um, the other side or the other angle before you can actually find the area. And so by making you choose BC, AB, or AC like this and then restating that uh, you have to put in the angle that isn't one of those it just helps so that you won't forget or forget yourself and just plug in the angle and then the two sides that you're given because it might not not always be right but that's why that's there just because I know it's it doesn't seem like the most efficient way to do it since the formula doesn't change alright that was really long-winded so <laughs> sorry guys we're gonna continue so as you can see we have side B and side A. So A and B, and then it'll ask you for angle C, so that's what I was talking about. So um, on the note card it's 102. 102, press enter. Side A is 90. Side B is 52. And as you can see, it gives you the answer which I have calculated here on the right. So this program works every time. Uh, it'll never be wrong <laughs> as long as you code it correctly. So I suggest that you use those um, those numbers when you're done with your program and go back and match them with mine. That way you can be sure that you have it coded correctly. I also have one written out for if you have three sides based on um, I believe it's pronounced Heron's Aaron or Heron's area formula. So here we can see we have a triangle with sides a uh, length eight, seven, and three. And so this is the formula up here at the top. Um, just defines S as a plus b plus c divided by two. And then this is the actual um, formula here. So S times s minus a times s minus b times s minus c so I found s to be 9 and then just 
plugged everything in, simplified, and got an answer to be about 10.4 uh, almost, if you round. So uh, we're going to go on here. Side 1 is 8. Side 2 can be 7. It doesn't matter what order you put them in because this time it, um, you're not taking any sines or cosines or anything. It's all just straight up math. And calculates it to be exactly what I had. So use those two examples to make sure that your program is coded correctly. And if I get... Um, 20 shares on this video so like when you um, when you go down for more information you can uh, share it so I'm pretty sure over Twitter and stuff if I get 20 shares on this video I will put out a video with the code for another program I have written up here and this one is for finding all the information of angle angle side angle side angle side 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 angle side 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 angle now this is a, one of those uh, special cases where you can have an ambiguous case and it will actually tell you if you have a second swinging triangle or not um, so uh, again I need 20 shares on this video to put this out and so just to show you what it does we'll uh, stick with that since I just have the side 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 already up here so A is 8 B is 7 and C is 3 so as we can see it gives us the angles of let me see if I can get this to focus It gives us the angles and the sides. So A, B, C, and the angles are 98, 60, and 21. So um, it works well. It does that for all the different triangles there. Um, it's a big, long program, and it's, it's going to be a lot of work. So that's why I'm asking for uh, 20 shares before I do this, because I don't want to spend the time if uh, no, one's, no one really wants it or is going to use it. So I figure since I learned both these things in the same unit, um, maybe other people will too. So, uh, 20 shares. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any uh, questions, don't dislike. Just comment, and I'll get back to you. If you, want, if you have any equation for physics, chem, bio, any class you take, there's a formula, I can write a program for it. Just subscribe to me and then uh, send me a PM and I can usually have a video up quickly um, depending on how busy I am. So, thanks guys. Uh, I'll see you on my next video.